So last year at this time, <clears throat> um, one of the things Lord was telling me um, via dreams and other thing was was to make room for His agenda in my life, and. <laughs> So this year, after the Day of Atonement and everything, and I'm looking at all my dreams, and this morning, last night, and he is, he just spoke to me several things, but the main one was to make his agenda my agenda. And I thought in my heart, well, I, I wanted to say I've done that, but then I started looking at the order of my prayers every day, and I realized that ever so subtly my <laughs> how I not that I have put his agenda aside but I have kind of ordered how I thought it would happen much much like Abraham God was trying to give Abraham a nation a legacy a country you know make him a father of <laughs> billions and billions of people and uh, Abraham was all concerned about having a son and the Lord was like you know, I'm trying to give you a legacy for your son, you know. And and I realized that that's what I had been doing, not that I had put God's agenda, which he has for me, on the back burner, but I had thought, well, this, this, and this has to happen first. And so I, I think this is a word for a lot of people, which is make... It, which is what the Lord spoke to me today, is make my agenda your agenda. And um, don't try to put it in some sort of order that this has to happen first or anything else. He said, make my agenda your agenda.